my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the My WW, AKA Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday so it is meal prep day and I have three glorious recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch, and a snack and you guys are not gonna wanna miss these three recipes because they are to die for. You'll find these recipes on my website which is down in the description box down below. Also, in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching website. I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So check that out down in that description box. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things, plus the items that I share with you today, you'll also find down in that description box. And last but not least, the link to join us on Facebook. I have so many amazing things planned to finish out 2020 strong and move into 2021. So definitely join my community over on Facebook. Give this video a thumbs up if you are as excited as I am about meal prep. And last but not least, my final goal for 2020 that I've yet to reach is to hit 30,000 subscribers. So if you're watching today's video and you're not subscribed or you're new, help me reach that goal. I'd mean the world to me and subscribe and make sure your bell notification is turned on as well so you don't miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and let's jump into this week's WW meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making savory breakfast bunt cake. You guys, I'm pretty excited for this. It sounds very comforting. I'm going to pair this with some fruit. So let me show you what's in breakfast. You'll need low fat or fat free milk, minced garlic, whole milk, now the recipe calls for cayenne and cumin, but I'm actually going to substitute just the Dax Green Zest. I'm not a big spicy person and I don't want this to be spicy and savory, so I'm going to sub some green zest. And you guys know how much I love Dax. They are salt free, no MSG, just packed with flavor, nice clean ingredients. Green Zest is one of my very, very favorite seasonings that they have. So what's in this is spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, and lemon peel. That is everything. It is very good. It's great on vegetables, meat, I mean pretty much everything. So I will put Dax down below with 10% off and free shipping. Highly, highly recommend. I have all of their seasonings. I love every single one, but definitely get your hands on the green zest. And then you're going to need some green onions, baby spinach i'm going to add a little salt and pepper just because i am not using the cumin or the cayenne and because dax is salt free i do want to put just a pinch of salt for flavor you'll need eggs light shredded cheese diced ham and sweet rolls so i'm using the sam's choice sweet buttery rolls so let's make some breakfast so the first thing we are going to do is chop. We need to chop up our green onions. We want about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to put them here in this little bowl. We need two cups of spinach chopped. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this whole bag, put it here in this bowl. And then lastly, we are going to chop our rolls into cubes, kind of like we were making stuffing or bread pudding. So into like half inch to one inch cubes. In my large skillet, I'm going to spray some nonstick cooking spray and we are going to wilt down the spinach. So make sure you spray pretty darn good. And then here is my entire bowl of spinach. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And we are going to let this cook until it's wilted. The whole bag of spinach wilted down to this. So now we are going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic. And here is our cooked spinach and garlic. That's all that that made. Now to your skillet, you're going to spray it again with some nonstick cooking spray. Spray it really, really well. And I forgot to show you that you're going to need frozen hash browns. So this is two cups of Orita frozen hash browns. We are going to let these cook until they are brown and crispy. We are going to start building our breakfast bundt cake. So I went ahead and sprayed my pan really, really well with some nonstick cooking spray. And the first thing we are going to do is take our bread cubes and we are going to layer those in the bottom of the pan. Thank you. 
Then we are going to add our hash browns. So I just took them off of the stove and I'm just as even as possible going to add the hash browns on top of the bread cubes. Next is one cup of diced ham. So I'm going to just sprinkle that over the top. This is already looking so delicious. Now I'm going to add my spinach and it's cooled now so I can actually go ahead and touch that. And I'm just going to spread that right over the top. Now for the green onions, again, just kind of sprinkle those right over the top. And then the last thing we are going to add is the one cup of light shredded cheese. Oh my gosh, you guys, how good does this look? And then we're going to add our cheese. So we're getting in our greens. We're getting in lots and lots of protein. We're getting in carbs with the bread. Oh my gosh, it's going to be delicious. Into a large bowl, I have two cups low fat milk, one cup whole milk and then we are also going to add 12 cracked eggs and then we are going to season this up with the Dax green zest. I'm going to put quite a lot because this is a big big bundt cake and then I'm also going to add a pretty hefty pinch of pepper and then a pretty small pinch of salt and then we are going to mix this until fully combined. So I transferred a portion of my egg mixture to a little pitcher here. It'll just be easier to pour. And then we are just going to pour this right over the top. We want to do it nice and slow so it has a chance to sink in. And I was also going to tell you that you can do half of your bread on the bottom and half of your bread on the top if you would rather. The recipe actually does it that way, but I decided to go ahead and add all of my bread to the bottom. And then that way I have this nice cheesy top to my bundt cake, but you can really do it either way, whatever you prefer. So go ahead and add all of your egg and milk mixture nice and slow over the top. And then we're ready to get this into the oven. And here it is. Look how full this is with all that yumminess. So this is going to go into my oven at 400 degrees until it's cooked completely through. You don't want any liquid eggs at all. Breakfast bun cake out of the oven. This looks so good. I am really happy I put this on a sheet pan because look at this. That much egg actually spilled over. So... Pro tip, when you go to bake your bundt cake, put it on a sheet pan, or that would have been all over the bottom of my oven. So it is done though. The eggs are cooked completely through. It looks absolutely incredible. This is going to make eight servings, and it is seven smart points on both the blue and purple plan, and 10 on green, 391 calories per serving. But the good news is this is everything you need for breakfast in one. You ha again have your carb, your protein, you have some greens from the spinach. I'm just going to pair this with some fruit for an additional zero point. So this is breakfast, you guys. It looks absolutely delicious. Highly recommend you try this recipe and I will share what this actually looks like when I eat it in a what I eat a day video so you can see what the finished product looks like. For lunch this week, I'm making ranch chicken, or in my case, turkey poppers. Because I couldn't find ground chicken, I'm just going to substitute ground turkey. But let me show you what's in lunch. You'll need one pound of 99% ground turkey, shredded carrots, chopped frozen spinach. Make sure it is thawed and you remove all moisture. So make sure you soak up any moisture in the spinach. A packet of ranch seasoning, an egg, oil of your choice, and some salt. This is an extremely easy recipe. Everything's combined into one bowl. What could be easier than that? So I have one pound of ground turkey. I'm going to add one egg. I added the spinach, all of the liquid removed. You want four ounces, so I didn't actually end up using the whole pack. And then we are going to stir to get everything combined. And then we're ready to cook down these poppers. We are all mixed together. This looks so good. I'm going to take my skillet and spray it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray before I add in the poppers. So we're just going to form these into balls. You can really do whatever size you want. The recipe makes four servings. So it doesn't really matter how many poppers you get for the four servings, but I'm going to form them into a ball kind of flatten them out 
and put them in my skillet. I have half of the poppers in a pan. I'll do the other half once these are cooked. So I'm going to add about a half of a tablespoon of oil over the top, and then we're gonna let these cook down and we'll repeat until we have cooked all of the poppers. These look so good. I am so excited for these. So this batch is just about done. I'm actually going to pop them in a meal prep container so we can divide them out once we know exactly how many we get. And let's start the second batch of the poppers. Batch number two is in the pan. All right, and here they are. These turned out so, so good. So I get three poppers every single day. So in my meal prep container here, I've added some veggies. So I have these bird's eye California blend. So I just added a small amount to the small compartment. And then to each of the large compartments, I will put three of the poppers. I'll probably dip these in mustard or some type of a dipping sauce, but I'm going to give you the points without sauce so that you can choose the one that you would want to use. And here is my lunch. So three of the turkey poppers every single day. Big, big dose of protein and greens with the spinach and then pairing it with another side of vegetables. Just one serving of the poppers is two points on both the blue and purple plan and three points on green just due to having to count a little bit for the ground turkey. 209 calories per serving. So really, really low calorie lunch. Really, really great protein and veggie packed lunch as well. For a snack or a sweet treat this week, I am making apple crumble bars. These are so low point, so low calorie, and all healthy ingredients, no fake sugar, really no fake anything. So I'm pretty excited. Let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need rolled oats, flour, coconut sugar. I buy this off of the Thrive Market. You guys know I love Thrive. I will link it down below. When you sign up through that link, you actually get a gift up to $24 for free from the Thrive Market. So definitely check out Thrive. You can save up to 30% or more on the prices from your grocery store. I love it. I order from it all the time. It's a lot less expensive and they have thousands of healthy options. You can categorize it based on ingredients, diet, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, organic. I just love the Thrive Market. So check that out down in the description. You'll also need some dairy-free milk, baking powder, maple syrup, cornstarch, salt, vanilla bean paste or vanilla extracts, cinnamon, of course, apples. I always choose Granny Smith when I'm making apple pie or apple bars because I like the contrast of the sour tart to the sweetness. And then you'll also need some butter. I'm using Myoko's plant-based. You could also use light butter, regular butter, whatever your preference is. So let's make some fall inspired apple crumble bars. First thing we need to do is chop our apples. Now I'm not going to peel them, I'm going to leave the skin on. So we're gonna dice these up, pop them in a bowl, and then we'll get started putting together the bars. to put together the topping for our bar. So in a small bowl, you do not need a large one. We are going to add in one quarter cup of rolled oats, one tablespoon of all purpose flour, one tablespoon of melted and cooled butter, two teaspoons of maple syrup, and last but not least, some cinnamon. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that, mix it together, and this again is the topping for these bars. So it's going to be like a streusel topping. Next up is the crust. So in a good size bowl, this is just a traditional cereal bowl, we are going to add one tablespoon of cashew milk, almond milk, whatever it is that you are using one teaspoon again of melted butter, one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So go ahead and add that. 
one third cup all purpose flour, a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of coconut sugar, and a little bit of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste in my case. And then we are going to stir this together and this is the crust for our bars. How yummy. And lastly is the filling. So here are my diced up Granny Smith apples. And then to that, I'm going to add cinnamon. Now I'm gonna add a ton of cinnamon. The recipe will be on my website. You can follow that. Or if you love cinnamon like I do, feel free to add a lot. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of cornstarch and then stir that together. That's going to help thicken up the filling, which is that tiny little bit of cornstarch. It doesn't add any points to the recipe, but it will kind of help thicken that up for the inside of the bars. We are going to take an eight by eight baking pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we are going to spread the crust in the bottom of the baking dish pretty thinly because it's going to be just a really nice thin crust. And then make sure you go all the way to the edges so that all your bars have the crust. We are then going to spread the apples right over the top of the crust. Oh my gosh, these bars are gonna be so good. Again, I highly recommend Granny Smith apples that just tart and sweet together is absolutely delicious. You can use a sweet apple too. I just like the contrast of the tart and the sweet. So add your filling and then we're going to add our crumb top. Look at these, these look so delicious. These are going in at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Here are our apple crumble bars. These look so good. I don't know if you can see, but that crust, see how the, the apples are just like embedded in the crust. This is going to be such a great snack. You could have this as part of breakfast. This could be a dessert. Top it with some whipped cream or some ice cream. I'm pretty excited about these. So this pan makes only eight bars. There are two smart points per bar on all plans. That's it. Two points and 119 calories. Such a great bang for your point in calorie buck and such a fall festive Thanksgiving dessert. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am to try these recipes out because they are all absolutely incredible. They are linked on my website, which is in the description box, along with my nutrition coaching website, as well as links and discount codes to the products I shared with you today and all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there. Again, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please, please help me out and subscribe and turn on the bell to help me reach the 30,000 by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this beautiful Monday and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.